Hey guys, Shasta Brad here, and today I want to touch on an annoyance I have. Last night I was laying in bed and I wanted to browse some news websites, and I was browsing on CNN and suddenly a video started playing and my audio was cranked up and it woke my girlfriend up, so wasn't the most ideal situation to have happened, and uh, I don't really like that anytime when a website does that. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to shut that off, how to prevent those videos from playing by themselves. Uh, this is for Mac users who are using the Safari web browser. So if we open up Safari and we go to a website like CNN, oh my goodness. And then once the web page loads, once it's done flooding us with their advertisements, we'll go ahead and click on a story. And then once this page loads, what you'll notice is, is uh, most people will start reading the content of the article. And then before they know it, in a few moments here, a video is going to automatically start playing without us clicking on anything. Pressure is on for Republicans to deliver on health care. We know that when the vote gets called, we'll feel confident right. that it's so going to That's back. enough of an example there. So what we want to do is we want to make a change to a setting to prevent those videos from playing by themselves. So uh, it's not a, an option that we could easily click on in settings. We actually have to add in a special debug menu that sits right here. And to do that, we're going to need to open up um, a terminal and run a terminal command and then reopen Safari. So the first step you need to do is go ahead and quit Safari and using Finder go ahead and um, open up your terminal and you need to run the following command and I'll go ahead and put this uh, command in the notes here and you'll want to have the number one at the end. The one is basically the on switch, basically enabling this menu item. If you had a zero there, it's the same thing as shutting it off or turning it off. So we're, we're going to go ahead and hit the return button and it ran. So now if we open up Safari, we're going to notice this new debug menu option right here. So what we want to do is we want to browse down to the media flags and then there's an option for disallow inline video. Select that. Now if you go back and look at uh, media flags, you'll notice there's a check mark next to disallow inline video. Perfect, that means it's enabled. So now if we were to go to CNN's website, and we click on that same video, What we'll notice is the web page will load. We can browse through and read it. And the video will start loading, however, it will not play. It will involve you having to manually click the play button for it to start playing. And we'll go ahead and give it a few more moments here to show that that's where it's at. Okay, so we have officially disabled inline video. Now, if you once you disable it, if you want to get rid of this debug menu item, what you can do is you're going to have to quit Safari again and go ahead and run that command and like I had said, switch the 1 to a 0, hit your uh, return button. Now when you open Safari, that debug menu item is no longer there and the inline video option is still set so videos will not play. And again, you could go back at any time and rerun that terminal command and uh, shut it off if you want to change that to where videos do automatically play by themselves.